Do not adjust your dial. This is not a test. It's just time for another installment of Vintage Digs. So come on. Good morning, all my fellow black sheep out there. I've decided today I'm going to go and hit as many thrift stores as I can before, you know, I have to get back for our sale tonight. Um, I don't know. I haven't had coffee yet. My mind's not working. So I'm going to drink a little coffee, get ready, and I'm going to hit the road. So come on, let's go see what I can find, okay?
Okay, so this is stop two on my, let's see how many thrift stores I can get to today. <laughs> I got this sale this afternoon or this evening, so I'm trying to do as many as I can today, and I don't know how many I'll be able to get through, but let's go in and see if they've got anything cool. Okay, so that was a complete waste of time. I went through there, picked up a mug, because I was like, oh, if I find something else, then, you know, I'll grab, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this mug so I can check out with it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Went through, I couldn't find anything else. <laughs> I ended up just putting the mug back and leaving, because I was like, I am not gonna do all this for one little mug. So, I'm about to head to a different store 
on my journey of how many thrift stores can I get to today. So I haven't been to this one in a while. It's uh, for like an animal shelter kind of thing. And it's uh, pretty far up the road, like the opposite direction of where I need to be going. So I'm gonna go try to hit it really quick because you know, I am pretty close to it in relation to what I normally am. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it today and see if they've got anything. Their prices can be a little high, but sometimes they have sales. So I'm gonna go see what they've got. This one was a bust for me today, unfortunately. So we'll go see when we can find the next one. Okay guys, so I didn't film in here. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't film in there because my hand went numb and I couldn't hold the, the phone to film and still walk through and look at things. So instead, I'm gonna try to show you some of the things that I picked up. I did find a few things here. So this one wasn't as bad as the last two I've been to where I found nothing. At least I did pick up a few things in here that I think are pretty unique, honestly. Very interesting. I got a few little kitschy things. I got some jewelry. I think that's all I got. But anyway, I'm going to show you what I got. So bear with me. Okay, so the first thing I got was this necklace. And it's a rose quartz, which I think these are, let's see if I can get them where you can actually see it. I think these are beautiful. It's got their little hang tag on it. It's a nice piece of rose quartz. It's wire wrapped. Um, I'm going to have to test it to see if that wire is sterling. I don't know if it is or not. I just thought it was pretty. And it's on one of these, you know, like the um, necklaces that are the stiff uh, metal that you just wrap around and clip at the back. But I just thought the pendant was beautiful. I figured somebody could take it off and put it on something else if they didn't like that style of necklace. But I got that. Let's see what else I got. I may have to cut off between each item because I only have one hand. So, like I said, bear with me. I'm trying to do this right, but, you know, if there's anything else in here loose that I can grab. No? Okay. So let me unwrap some stuff and I'll show it to you. Okay, so I guess I'll do the jewelry pieces that I got first. Okay. I'm probably going to end up selling this, even though I don't know. <laughs> it is a cameo of sorts, but it is a mermaid. I know, I know. I'm going to have to decide on this one. This might be a keeper. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to look at it and decide if I love it enough to where I need to keep it or if I need to share it with you guys. I haven't decided. It's not like a true cameo, I don't think. I'm going to have to look closer at it, but it's just cool looking. I did pay up a little bit more for it because, you know, it's a mermaid. So, of course, I paid up for it. They saw me coming from a mile away. And then I got this little brooch, which I believe is an Austrian crystal. I haven't, I don't have my loop with me, so I couldn't look at it very closely. But it's got the AB stones in it, but they look almost like crystals. So I'm going to have to look when I get home. But it is in the style of the Austrian crystal brooches I picked up in the past. So I'll look closer when I get home and see if I can see anything on it. So I got those two pieces. And then I got this adorable little raccoon dude he is an old japan piece he is in perfect condition he is marked down there 633 i think it says i don't know i have to look him up because i don't know who made him but i know he's an old piece I did pay a little bit more for him too i did pay up for a lot of stuff in this store but they had some cool stuff so that's why i didn't mind doing it and then here's his little skunk friend same idea he's numbered as well on the bottom in really good condition for the age he looks like he needs some washing he may have a little discoloration on his tail i don't know i haven't washed him again paid a little bit more for him but i thought he was adorable and in this piece piece i probably paid way too much for but i have never ever found this in the wild so i picked it up and it is the little blonde on the phone she's still got her little phone book with her look at this 
I have never found one of these out in the wild. I mean, it's just blank pages on the inside. It's supposed to be like a little phone directory. Teen A phone. And copyright. I can't see this. Coast Novelty. Venice, California. So this is a nice old kitschy piece. Again, I haven't washed her. She looks a little dirty. I'm going to wash, give her a bath when we get home. But I did pay a little more for her because I've never found one of these before in this good a condition. I found some that had like their ponytails lopped off and all kinds of stuff, but never found one in that good a condition. So I pulled the trigger on it. And then finally I got this guy. He's an old Japan piece. He is a wine decanter. He's like a waiter. He's got wine down his leg. He's a little wine decanter. Um, there's his marking on the bottom. So yeah, I went ahead and picked him up too. He's missing a little cold paint on his arm right there, but otherwise he's really in good condition too. So it's like you pay a little bit more in this particular store, this thrift store, but you're paying a little less than what antique store prices would be. But the majority of their stuff, like, they go through it really, really well. And they make sure, like, I mean, it's in this metal building. They make sure that they don't put out a lot of broken stuff and trashy stuff. So, it's, it's like a better thrift store when you can find something in there you want. They have a lot of glass and glassware kind of stuff, you know, like stemware and stuff, which I'm not interested in. And they have a lot of frames and clothing and all that kind of stuff. And so their hard goods, vintage hard goods section is not that large, but I usually find a few things when I do come up here. I usually pay a little bit more for them than what I want to, of course, but they're quality pieces and they're old, you know. You know they're old. They have them at the counter where, you know, people are like knocking them off the shelves and stuff. So yeah, I do spend a little bit more here than what I would like to spend. I would like to spend zero, but you know, <laughs> we can't do that. But it's well worth it to come up here, you know, a couple of times a year just to see what they've got. All right, so that was store number three. I'm gonna see if I can find a store number four when I'm heading back south like I'm supposed to be heading instead of north. And we'll go see and if, if I can find anything else. Um, I'm gonna try to hit at least one more, see if I can get two in, I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. Wish me luck. We'll see how it goes, okay? Okay, thrift store number four. <sighs> Nothing. N-O-T-H-I-N-G, all in capital letters. Nothing. This is Salvation Army, which I haven't been finding anything at Salvation Armies lately. I haven't even been going to Salvation Armies lately because I haven't been finding anything. But I decided to try it again today. I was like, oh, why not? I'll put it on my list. Nothing. So, I am now going to St. Vinny's. I'm going to go and hit St. Vinny's and see if they have anything. Because it's right down the road. So, that will be number five. And we will see if I am able to find anything there. I am not being optimistic since today has been horrible for sales. But, let's go see what I can find. Hopefully, I'll find something in there that makes it worth my time. If not, I'm probably getting lunch and going home. Because I am just so disappointed and broken down at this point from finding nothing. It's just like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. It's like, I don't know if people aren't donating stuff. What's happening. But, the selection is horrible absolutely horrible there is nothing i even want to pick up and show i took my phone in there because i was gonna film and i looked around and all the shelves were pretty much empty and i was like i'm not even gonna bother to get my phone out so i'm gonna go hit st vinnie's got my fingers crossed that they're gonna have something but i'm beginning to think they may not if so this is gonna be kind of a wash you know i picked up those few things i showed you But I'm not real happy. So, there are some estate sales tomorrow. There is one I really want to go to tomorrow. 
it's about close to an hour from my house, which means I would have to get up. I'd have to leave my house by like seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm looking through the pictures going, do I really want to leave at seven o'clock in the morning? I don't know. They look like they have some decent stuff, but you can't, you know, of course you can't see pricing on it. So it's like, am I going to get down there and pick up this little glass piece of something and it's going to be like $50? I don't know. So I'm kind of going, I'm battling myself mentally right now, I'm trying to figure out if I want to do that or not. I probably will end up doing it because I'm just that crazy, but I was hoping today was going to be really good and then maybe I could find like a local little estate sale and pick up a few things, but I'm not having a great day of it. So not all days are good thrifting days. In fact, I've got to where I barely thrift anymore at all because my thrifting recently has been subpar to say the least. But I thought today, I was like, well, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it my all. The good old college try today. I'm going to hit as many as I can. But, mm -mm, it's not good. So maybe this last one will be the cherry on top. I will find all kinds of cool things. And I'll be so excited I went there. I'm trying to be optimistic. So, we're going to head down here. See what old St. Vinny's has got in store for us. This is the one that they yelled at me for filming in that time. So, <laughs> if I do see anything cool in there, I'm going to have to do it on the DL. So, just be prepared if I don't get a ton of footage in here. Because I'm going to try. Uh, they've already yelled at me one time. So, they won't remember that though, right? They're not going to remember they yelled at me. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, guys. So, I am getting to the light where i got to turn to go to it. So, wish me luck. Hopefully, they're going to have something good. And I'm not going to have completely wasted my day. I don't guess it's a waste. I did find some really cool pieces. A few. But, still. You know, I'm greedy. I want to find a ton of stuff every day. Oh, well. Quesera, right? So, we're going to head in here and see what we find. Where the heck that's supposed to be?
cool, but I'm sure $30. They get crazy because they probably fit them in here. Okay. So, just these mushrooms, nothing special. Are you ready for it? 20 bucks. Here is a wood turned mushroom. Again, nothing special. $17. <laughs> a little bit crazy. Just a little bit crazy. Uh, I don't want to look through the linens today. Although, what is this? like a kid's apron. That was an adult size, so I'd probably get it. <laughs> it's pretty hand stitching. It's painted on. Big hole. That's nice. It's too bad. That's a nice piece. Oh, look at this quilt. They put fishes on it. It's kind of cute. It's like it's not very big. Well, it's like a lap quilt. They want $30. Yeah, no. Throw the words, but I have anything I want. Curtains. Yeah, no. I'm going to get the purses. Let's go see what we can do with these purses. Their favorite number is 20. Alright, I'm going to look through the jewelry that I'm going. Okay, so I picked up a few things in there. They are kind of pricey today, too, but I did grab a few things. A couple of things I paid a little more than I probably should have, but they're kind of cool. So, so I got this Japan. It's like a trinket dish. I'm having trouble showing because the light's like hitting it. The sunlight's hitting it. So it's like this trinket dish uh, jewelry dish, whatever you want to call it. I just like the romantic couple on the top of it. It has got some hand painting on it. It is marked Japan. It's got a sticker on the bottom, like a foil label. I'm going to have to see if I can figure out who that maker is. I don't have my glasses on. 
<laughs> Again, I don't have my glasses on. So, I'm having trouble identifying things right now. So, please bear with me. And then I got this cool little ashtray. Very atomic, mid-century gloriousness. It's just a little white ashtray. But it's called a snufferette. Now, I have no idea about these ashtrays. I just like the shape of it and the design of it. And I thought it was just super interesting. So that's why I picked that up. I mean, look at the lines. How can you not love that? So I grabbed that. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got this little boot or this little child shoe that it's a, it looks to be an antique child shoe. And somebody's put this old like doily or hanky or something in there. They made like a little assemblage out of it. But I thought that was adorable. So I picked that up. I thought it was cute just the way it was. So I picked that up because I thought that would be cute sitting on somebody's shelf or something. So I grabbed that. Little leather shoe. And then I got this, which may be my PAC PAC de resistance of the day. It's up there anyway. Now I did pay up for this and you're going to see why I paid up for this. Look at this basket. It's got the fish on it. It's the green with the pink on the inside. It's amazing. It has no chips or cracks in it. It's perfection. So it's only got the fish on the one side. Okay. The other side is this tail coming down. How could I not get that? I mean, I did pay up for it. I'm not gonna lie. I paid quite a bit for it, but that was one of those pieces I was not leaving in there. I didn't care. I was like, nope, that is going home with me. I don't care what anybody says. And then I think the last thing I got in there was this little, well, it's not little, this uh, Inkaway jewelry box. Now, the hinge has come loose on it, but that's just a simple, like, putting some glue on it to put it back down. But look at this. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It's in that color of blue that we all know and love. It's got that huge medallion on the top. Just a really, really nice, nice box. So, yeah, that's what I picked up in there. So that's what I got today um, on my venture. At least I found something. I think that's why I was like willing to pay a little more <laughs> when I went in there for things because I paid up with that box too. But it was because I haven't found anything. You know, I found a few things, but nothing. I hadn't scratched my itch yet. Okay. I'm just not even going to try to put it any other way. I had not scratched my itch yet. So. I was willing to pay up on a few things in there just because I wanted to buy them. I still think that I can give y'all a decent deal on these things. I'm not going to make a ton off of them. I mean, of course, you would like to buy something for a dollar and sell it for a hundred, but that's definitely not going to be the case. Um, but I think I can still pass it on to you guys and make a little bit off of it. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see if there's any interest there, but I am going to have to start some of those a little bit higher than what I, you know, necessarily would probably want to. I try to keep my prices as low as I can so that more people can, you know, buy and, you know, be part of our community and get things that they like. But sometimes I have to charge a little more. But hopefully you all think I'm still reasonable with my pricing. I try to be very reasonable. Um, I try to just, on some of the more expensive pieces when I do pay way up on them, I literally try to make enough to cover it and then maybe like five bucks or ten bucks at the most on top of it. I don't, I don't make a killing on them, honestly. I really don't. But, I just try to keep, keep the prices, like I said, as reasonable as I can. Because I know when I go to sales, I, you know, I love to see all the beautiful, gorgeous stuff that people have. But then, most of the time I realize I'm not going to be able to buy it. 
I'm just not going to be able to afford it. So, I don't like doing that. <laughs> My bank account would like it much better, but <laughs> that's okay. We all work together. We're all friends, and I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, feel like I'm taking advantage of my friends. I, I'm just not a good business person, <laughs> honestly. But that's okay. As long as I can make enough money to, you know, keep a roof over my head and feed us, that's all I need to do, right? All right, guys. So, I'm going to head home now. I've been out. It is now 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I hit was that five or six? I don't even remember. Thrift stores. I have to go back and watch. Um, thrift stores today. Didn't get a ton of stuff, but I got a few really cool finds, and that's what it's all about. So, all in all, a good day. That last one kind of perked me up a little bit. Um, so, at least I found a few things, right? Okay, so I'm going to go grab something to eat really quick since this is going to be my one meal of the day and then I'm going to get ready for the sale tonight. So I hope you guys will be there. This is going to be posted probably after the sale but hopefully I'll see you guys at the sale and then we have another on Friday which is our jewelry sale. So hopefully we'll see you there as well and then Saturday is our shop -a haul sale. So hopefully I'll get to see you all those times. And then I gotta get home because I think I may have a package waiting for me there from Miss Tammy, Renee, and Linda. So I'm very excited to get home and check that out. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Have a great and beautiful day. Thanks for coming along with me and hanging out. And I hope you had a good time. If you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It's free, it doesn't hurt, and it's actually fun. So hit my subscription button and then ring that bell for notifications and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.